Hello, my name is Keshwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Keshwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the study manuals for the T's. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. The problems that we are about to solve are the ones that you will find on page number 76. Please turn to it. Page number 76. And today is our lesson number 24. Let's see what we have on 76. It's not 77. We have to do 76. We haven't done it. Uh, we are given a list of grocery lists apparently and we have to add up the cost of those items. Let's do it then. Cost of items. The first one is eggs, which we are told are $1.20. Then we have milk, which we are told is $2.99. We have two steaks and we are told that they are 2.46 pounds each for 4.98 per pound. And then we have bread which we are told is 250 and then we have soda which is 99 cents. So let's take a look at this one more time and this is where we're going to do the rounding here. This is where the art comes into it. So let's see what we can do. Eggs are $1.20. I'm just going to pretend it's $1 or if you like you can put down $1.20 for the time being. Milk is $2.99. It is just rounded to $3. This is where you have to pay attention. We are buying two steaks. That's the important part. We are buying two steaks and each one of them is 2.46 pounds. 2.46 pounds we're going to pretend that they are each is, each is approximately two and a half pounds each and we're buying two of them well if you're buying two of them then each is 2.46 pounds which we are approximating at two and two and a half pounds and if you're buying two of them that's five pounds that's five pounds five pounds at 498 498 per pound 498 per pound I'm going to pretend it's five dollars per pound five dollars per pound so we are basically buying five pounds of meat at five dollars per pound. That's twenty-five dollars. The bread is two fifty, and the soda is ninety-nine cents, which we can round it to one dollar. One plus three is four. Four plus five is nine. Nine plus two is eleven. Eleven plus one is twelve. And this twenty cents and this fifty cents, I'm going to add as, as one extra dollars. So that's thirteen. Carry one, and two plus one is three looks like the total for the grocery bill is going to be around $33. It's going to be around somewhere there and that should be close enough for us to be able to locate the right answer in the real exam. Because in the real exam the answers are not going to be that close to each other. They're not going to be off by a few cents. Let's do the next one, shall we? On the next page. Page number, page number 77. Page number 77. Just give me one second here. I need a quick break. Get out of your way. We are given, we are, the, we are doing the practice problem now on the next page, page 77. And we're given a whole bunch of items here and we're told that the annual budget for the office includes these items that are listed, the expenses that are listed, and they're simply asking us the total of those expenses. Let's find out, shall we? The very first item is the salaries, which is 184,000, 184,000. Supplies, we are told, let me put the salaries a little bit out here. Supplies we are told are $9,745. Phone and utilities are 
$6,301. The rent we are told is $29,400. Always make sure your digits lined up properly. And the travel expenses for the office for the year we are told is $12,000. 571. That's it. I think we've done a decent job lining things up. Let's, let's add them up. We're going to take our time. That's all it is. The matter of taking your time, otherwise you will make a boo-boo. 5 plus 26, 6 plus 27. That was easy. 4 plus 7 is 11. That was simple also. So far so good. No complication. I see a 7 and I see a 3. That's 10. 5 plus 4 is 9. 9 plus 1 is 10. And these are other 10. That's 20. 0. 32. 2 plus 4 is 6. 6 plus 9 is 15. 15 plus 6. 15 plus 6 is going to be 21. 21 plus 10 would have been 31, so it's 30, and that's 32. 2, carry 3. 2, carry 3. And finally, we have 3 plus 1 is 4. Oh, that 3 comes here. Oh my god, I can't believe I did that. That 3 comes over there. We haven't taken care of this line here. 3 plus 8 is 11. 11 plus 2 is going to be 13. Plus 1 is 14. 4. Carry 1. 2. Looks like total expenses are around, well not around, they are $242,017 exactly. $242.17. Let's do the next one, shall we? Number 2 on the same page. Number two. You done with this one? Again, we have cost of items. Looks like on the grocery list, and we have to figure out the list above displays a menu. It's a menu at the deli, and a customer orders certain amount of things, and our job is to figure out the cost. He buys two hot dogs he buys two hot dogs at $1.75 each he buys one hamburger at $2.25 each he buys two sodas at $1.19 each he buys one bag of chips, for 99 cents each, and so far it seems like a pretty yummy and more importantly pretty nutritious and healthy meal. Three cookies at 65 cents each. Yum yum. That is exactly what I need. healthy, nutritious meal. What's better than a hot dog, a hamburger, not one soda but two sodas, bag of chips, mustn't forget our bag of chips, and only three cookies. Let's go for it. We're buying two of them, they're $1.75 each. Had they been $2 each, that would have been $4. Since they're $1.75, we have to take away two quarters, so it's $3.50. He's only buying one of them, that's $2.25. Two sodas, make sure you pay attention. Two sodas, a dollar twenty each, is dollar nineteen, but we're gonna pretend it's dollar twenty. Dollar twenty times two is uh, two dollars and forty cents. One bag of chips for a dollar. Three cookies at sixty-five cents each. Now pay attention here, sixty-five cents each. You don't have to do any calculation, just listen to me. Sixty times three, six times three is eighteen. Sixty times three is one eighty. One eighty plus another nickel, three three nickels. Uh, uh, we makes a 15 cents, so it's 180 plus 15 is dollar 95, around two dollars, around two dollars. 65 times three is approximately two dollars, which makes sense. The so dollar 20, do, uh, 60 cents, dollar 20, dollar 80, and then another three nickels, as I said, is makes the dollar 95, around two dollars. That's it. We're done, and that's close enough. We don't have to waste our time doing the precise uh, exact calculation. So that gives us five. That's a 
7 plus 4 is 11. 11 gives us 1, 31. 4, 4 plus 4 is 8. 8 plus uh, 2 is 10. 10 plus 1 is 11. By George. A nice, yummy lunch for mere $11. You see, why buy a sandwich? I won't name any place where I usually go. They, they make nice sandwiches with lots of vegetables. Why buy that sandwich and a bottle of water when you can have luxury? $11 is the answer. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.